There are many theories about the actual identity of the boss of the Black Organization besides just being Renya Karasuma, such as Agasa, Genta, Mitsuhiko, and Ron, but they're all confirmed to not be the boss by Gosho Yama in interviews. There is one character, though, that I will try to convince you on being the boss, and this was originally not my theory, but I added a lot to it. And that character is Maria Higashio. I know, that little girl that's just Conan's classmate, how can she be the boss? Well, stay tuned as I plead the case of Maria being the boss. The reason why it might not just be Renya Karasuma and instead a different identity of his is because of this interview right here. And this interviewer goes on later in this interview near the end and asks him the question, when did you decide it was blank? And we can say that is Renya Karasuma in this blank right here. But then he says, but actually the boss being Renya Karasuma was from volume 24, I think. But in truth, it's beep. And then this dude laughs. Like, he laughs at almost every little question. So, like, why does he say that to begin with if it's just one person, if he doesn't have a separate identity? And then the next question, right after this one, the interviewer asks Aoyama about a certain character that has a secret. That's probably Vermo, because Aoyama, he goes on and says, yeah, they have tons of them, lol. Because... Beep is the boss's beep, so they were beep beep and they're beep. Put beep on all of this part. <laughs> and we, like this is obviously Vermo, right? Because she has a big secret and she just has a catchphrase a secret makes a woman woman. So you know, so she basically is probably related to the boss because of this statement right here. And the secret that she knows will shock everyone in the organization. And we do know that she doesn't want to oust Conan as Shinichi for some reason. And instead, she just calls him Cool Guy and the Silver Bullet. And so, basically, the Silver Bullet to take down the Black Organization. And this interview was in 2017, by the way. And since then, Renya has been revealed to be the boss. But it's still suspicious, because why, why does he even make a point that, oh yeah, it's actually Beep. So when Maria was introduced, she has a Kansai dialect, and she initially wanted to hide it. And I think that's Aoyama telling us to think of another character, Tequila, who's a Black Organization member. He was back with the, the video game part there. Uh, like The Black Organization infiltrated this guy and just got him to develop something. That guy. And he also speaks in a Kansai dialect. And... If you know anything about alcohol, you know that a Bloody Maria, different from a Bloody Mary, that one's made with vodka and like tomatoes and stuff, but a Bloody Maria is specifically made with tequila. So that is a huge, huge, huge thing right there, just by one interaction alone. And also, if you're an anime only, like I was, like I, I didn't even know about this until I was reading this theory. And that's why it's loosely based because I'm like, oh, wow, that's that's something. But the chapters where the black organization people are introduced for the first time, it's always got rain in the cover page. So in this one, there was rain and Conan's there when uh, Maria was introduced. It was Conan standing out and he had an umbrella in the rain. So that just kind of makes you think right there. And then the title of that chapter is The Fiend of 200 Faces which is clearly a reference to the mystery novel by Edogawa Ranpo, The Fiend with 20 Faces. And that's where the antagonist keeps changing his appearance and outsmarting everyone. In the volume that this chapter is in, Maria is actually on the keyhole, and she only made just a blip on the radar. His appearance, like, why is, like, the plot wise anything just appeared and just left. And then she wasn't, we didn't see her again until four chapters later. But anyways... These, these coincidences, they're just racking up right now. So, when Haibara tells Conan that the reason why there's a new teacher to help is because of new people like us coming in. And in that panel, we see Maria just laughing. And other transfer student, Takuma, he's just nowhere to be found in this panel. So that, that really, that, that's a big thing too, because why, why not include Takuma as well? So I take this as a clear hint to us by Aoyama that in fact yes these are the three people in the class here that took the drug and right after this chapter this was in end of 2005 right after this chapter 
he does an interview for TV Asahi, which does the uh, airs the Detective Conan anime, and this is its 10 year anniversary. And in that, he says that he already revealed the name. Well, it could also be plural because we don't know in Japanese unless it's specified. So it could be plural. The names of the boss have already been revealed. And he said, try to look for it. And the thing is, he said, he specifically said the the phrase, original work. So he separated it from the anime and the manga. Why would he have to do this? Well, because Maria wasn't adapted in the anime yet. And that interview was right at the start of January 2006. And right before Renya is revealed to be the boss with that case that Maria is just making a puzzle for Conan. Well, Maria comes out right at the end of that case right there. And the chapter before that, Renya is revealed to be the boss. We see the text there that the editors put in. It says, pay close attention. <laughs> so... What, what are we supposed to pay close attention to? Because if we know, it's just, uh, it's a big reveal. Like, you don't have to pay attention to that. It's just, it's right there. You already know if you watch it. If you're not paying attention, like, you're going to know. So, really, what are they telling us to pay attention to? And we can see that the title of the next chapter, where Ren is actually revealed in chapter 1008, I believe, is Hora. So, and that, and it's a heart as well. And that word can be translated as like, oh, told you so, told you to, or whatever, or see. And yeah, I think it's it's a it's a reference to that, you know, this is this is the boss if you're actually paying attention. Besides that, the whole point of that case was Maria was testing Conan, but he couldn't go because you know the paparazzi were like, oh, kudo, Shinichi kudo, blah, blah, blah. so the detective boys had to solve that case, you know. And they did have to have Conan help at the end, though, because it was too hard for them. So how does this little girl just come up with this? She seems too smart. And she seems too smart for her age, just based on that alone. Another thing worth noting is that her character design is taken from another character in Magic Kaido. And that character is Keiko Momoi. So maybe she is important if he reads her design, because this is rare in Detective Conan. We know Shinichi looked exactly like Kaido Kid, and Ron looks exactly like Aoko Nakamori. And the anime, they actually did a little, like a little cameo of them in opening 34. And they had both of them, Shinichi, Kaido, Ron, and Aoko, but they deliberately excluded Keiko and Maria. And Keiko, she didn't even appear with the rest of the gang there too. And then also, Keiko, if we change it to different kanji, it would mean taken by mouth okay so th this just gets very detailed like this this is something that she did she took the drug by her mouth okay that's that's what happened for conan like all oh, they took the aptx 4869 and that's how they get small but anyways the uh the other kanji in the actual keiko would be wise young girl so there's really a double meaning there and then this one's kind of anime only and like, there's it's just very loosely like even if this th this could be something but we don't know for sure because there's just no information about the boss but in the end then there were no mermaids case conan and heiji took a look for old names that people put down because they wanted a blessing of wanting to live forever by that mermaid so as, as you remember there's also haibara's real name shiho miyano as well as jean and vodka's names there too but what's interesting is there was a name and it was Nishio Kimihide, and Nishio was the same kanji as Maria's last name, Hogashio, but the west kanji is there instead of the east one. And the kanji in Kimihide can mean excels at being out in the open, or just out in public. So maybe the boss was saying which way he was going, because his manner is, to is east more, and then he went west to go over and investigate about the, the mermaid being immortal. Because it makes sense, right? Like, he wants a mortal life. And then if we look at Vermouth, like, she she looks anti-aging, right? So there could be a connection there. Maybe not. Who knows? But we do know that he came earlier than that gang right there because it was in different papers. And I believe his name was uh, number 26. And then uh, Gene Vodka and Sherry's were, like, in the 50s, I believe. So 
Anyways, maybe the boss, he was saying which way he was going. East. He was going from his manor, which is in the east. It, it's really in the central of Japan, but from there to that bay, he's going west. So that's why it would be west. And the last name of Maria is because that's when he actually took the drug and became small. So then he changed it to east. Alright, so this this is the real the real meats and potatoes, like right here. If you weren't paying attention in chapter 11, 12, then, then I, I will just show you what I've come to find after just thinking about it after a while. And it's pretty telling. So anyways, the new case came out with a connection of Professor Agasa and Maria's mom being friends. So it's not like Agasa's friends of every one of Conan's friends' parents, right? So this one, I thought it was like some, sort of like a foster parent situation. So maybe maybe they're just friends because they're foster parents. Because as you know, like Agasa has to fit in as well. And we haven't even seen this side of him like fitting in. Because we know that he takes care of Hybara. And also worth noting is the mom speaks in Kansai dialect as well. So this is, this brings me to the, the really like the crux of the the theory right here. And at that last panel there of chapter 11, 12, it's just the teacher, the assistant teacher there, Rumi. And I thought she was just looking at nothing, right? Like, just looking just looking out. I don't know. But you zoom in, and she's looking just straight ahead, and it's angled at a desk, okay? And this desk, I kid you not, is Maria's. You can go check it. Like, Conan, I checked it. I triangulated her position where she's sitting because they change every positions every single time. Like almost every episode, whatever they're in class, it's just different seating. But it's Maria's seat. Okay. You can do it yourself to find out the calculations. Do it yourself. That is Maria's seat, bro. And why did she even come over here? Why didn't Rumi come over here? Well, what if, what if she's looking for the boss? Because we know from the previous case that Amanda Hughes, she died of the black organization. That it was Rum doing it, killed her, and then killed all her bodyguards. Right. And we just figured that out. Well, that's kind of a spoiler. But if you're reading Kona, you, you need to be caught up because uh, it's in the end game right now. So anyways, maybe the whole reason why she decided to go to the school is to find out if Maria is actually the boss. And maybe she has leads on the boss already because why would she just show up randomly at Conan's school? It doesn't even make any sense. And she's not interested in Conan. She's interested in finding out who the black organization is. But anyways, now Maria, if she is the boss... She has a clue about Conan's mom because she actually used her real voice there. And Aoyama, he deliberately did not show Maria, like, her reaction to it. Kind of, kind of think of, like, um, in One Piece, how Oda didn't show a certain person's reaction to Luffy eating the devil fruit in the first episode or the first chapter. Just, it, mangaka, they do this. They think ahead. They know. They know, okay? And it's too coincidental to not include Maria at those panels right there and so yeah, the end game man dude uh, the end game of Detective Conan is getting intense right now because just the behind the scenes of what's going on if you really like analyze it like if this theory is true that Maria is the boss wow like she's done a really good job being undercover and yeah that that's kind of one of the holes of this theory unfortunately is She's just a kid, <laughs> okay? Like she, like that's what the impression Aoyama wants to give us is that she's just a kid. And she has nothing to do with anything, but she very well could be the boss. Also, another thing is too is if Renya was a guy or girl, because Renya we actually don't know if that's a guy or girl name. Could be both, but mostly it's a guy name that from what I've gathered. But, so he would have had to, taking the drug, and then, like, change his appearance somehow. But, hey, I mean, over mouth, she's just chill and just changing appearances left and right. But anyways, yeah, the, the last piece of evidence I have is basically the whole Nanatsu no Ko thing, which is, you can change it in a lot of different ways. Like, the people that, um, say, the, the girl, the woman that wrote that song, she basically wrote it for a kid, and he was seven at the time. And so... It could be taken as seven-year-old kid, seven kids, or seven crows. Okay, so, and you know who they're all seven? Conan's seven, Hybar seven, 
Hizuko, Genta, Yumi, Miri, and Maria. And those are the seven right there. They're all seven years old. And then also, th there's a plot point too in chapter 11, 12 that I forgot to mention. But Hybara says they still age under the drug. Okay, so why would that just randomly just occur? Like, this is planned. Okay. And this, this is going to be crazy if this is true. Only time will tell if Maria is actually the boss or not. And I thank you for watching. Please leave criticism in the comments. Also, I made a new channel. You can find me. I post more frequently than here. It's called The Esoteric Athlete. Um, I'm not going to post a link because I'm pretty sure I'm shadow banned on there because of the topics I talk about. But yeah, thank you for watching again. And just let me know what you think. Do you like this theory or do you think it's right? Do you think it's wrong? I mean, I don't know. I, I, I actually believe it now because... You know, the info dump in chapter 11, 12, and like, like man, Aoyama, he's crazy. This is actually true. <laughs>